when talking about operating systems, you'll sometimes hear people refer to something uh, called the kernel, as in popcorn kernel or something like that, right? You'll sometimes hear people say, oh, the kernel, the operating system's kernel. So just what is the kernel? We're gonna talk about the kernel here in this video and a few other things, a few other aspects of the kernel. Um, if you look at uh, Wikipedia, uh, which is becoming apparently one of my favorite sources to reference because it's awesome. Uh, here under operating systems at Wikipedia, we have components, the kernel, K-E-R-N-E-L. And uh, as a subset of kernel, there are these things, program execution, interrupts, modes, memory management, virtual memory, multitasking, disk access, and file systems, and device drivers. So let's take a look at a few of these, not all of them, but a few of them and see what makes up the kernel. Uh, the kernel, with the aid of the firmware and device drivers, the kernel provides the most basic level of control over all the computer's hardware devices, right? So firmware would be a basic input output system found on ROM, right? And device drivers are little programs to, divide, to drive certain devices like uh, a printer. But the current, along with those two things, the kernel provides a basic level of control over all the computer's hardware. It manages memory access for programs in RAM, so manages memory access, determines which programs get access to which hardware resources, and sets up or resets the CPU's operating states for optimal operation all the time. It organizes data for long-term non-volatile storage, so secondary storage, with file systems such as disks, tapes, flash memory, etc., etc. So uh, let's look at a couple of a uh, couple of different things here. Memory management. Let's see if there's anything I want to say about that. You know, uh, I think the first thing I want to mention here is virtual memory. So um, virtual memory is basically like uh, you know it's made up. It's uh, when RAM gets full, the, the operating system will say, okay, we don't have any more room in RAM, so why don't you start storing it on the disk drive and we'll just pretend uh, that, that this is stored in RAM. And that's basically virtual memory. So virtual memory means that the kernel can choose what memory each program may use at any given time, allowing the operating system to use the same memory locations for multiple tasks. Da, 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 da. Memory which is accessed less frequently can be temporarily stored on disk or other media to make space available for use by other programs uh, in RAM. That's called swapping. An area of memory can be used by multiple programs and what that, uh, and what that memory area contains can be swapped or exchanged on demand. So virtual memory provides a programmer or the user with the perception that there is a much larger amount of RAM than there really is in the computer. And uh, so again, if RAM gets full, uh, the operating system will start dumping stuff onto the hard drive and it'll just say, oh, let's just pretend that this area of the hard drive is also RAM. That's virtual memory. Um, multitasking refers to running multiple, in, multiple programs at once on the same computer. So the kernel is responsible for multitasking and figuring out which, which application which is running gets which resources when. The kernel is also responsible for uh, disk, ac disk access and file systems like NTFS, and uh, yeah, and then our device drivers part of the kernel? I don't think so. Oh, well, they are. They are included in the kernel. I don't know if I would include that in the kernel because those are kind of separate from the core part. But the main way to think about the kernel when you hear people talk about the kernel is that it is uh, just sort of the core part of the operating system. It's the core central part of the operating system, and uh, and it does things like you know, memory management, creating virtual memory, uh, managing different applications, multitasking, so running different applications at once, the file systems on disks, um, you know, and, uh, and running programs. So that's what the kernel is, just kind of a phrase which is good to know about when talking about operating systems.